From 14 teams in the Vodafone Cup, it's come to just two, South Melbourne and Altona Magic. Between these sides, they have 10 championships, but today, only one team can be crowned the 2006 Vodafone Cup Premiers. Welcome to Bob Jane Stadium for the 2006 Vodafone Cup Grand Final. South Melbourne versus Altona Magic. FFV, Simon, Clarendon Corner over there is uh, filled with uh, at least oh, about uh, 150 or so occupants and we also have the Altona Magic crew on the right hand side of the ground supporting the Magic uh, in numbers as well. We've got, a, I'd say, close to 4,500 here, maybe upwards, even getting close to 5,000, Simon. You're probably right there, Arthur, and we're still about five minutes from kickoff too. The crowd, the crowd streaming in through the gates, so hopefully there's a crowd of about five to 6,000 to watch a finale for the Vodafone Cup season 2006. Okay. Lineups uh, for today in goals. Number one, Dean Anastasiadis. Number three, Sam DeVito. Number six, George Zertis. Number 11, Andreas Oliveira. Number 12, Dino Jubic. Number 14, Ramazan Devzenoglu. Number 15, Fernando de Moraes. Number 16, Tanzel Beza. 18, Scott McNichol. Number 20, Gianni Dinitas. Number 24, Antonio Naglieri. On the bench for South Melbourne. Number 10, Vasilios Natsoulas. Number 19, Andrew Borakis. Number 21, James Stefanu. Number 22, Con Drimitropoulos. And number seven, Nick Curtis. The coach for South Melbourne, John Anastasiadis. And the starting lineup for the Altona Magic in goals. Number one, Boyo Yevdevic. Two, Stephen Merkela. Three, Levent Osman. Five, Doug Miladinovic. Six, Kole Dalev. Nine, Sach Petrovinovsky, the gold medalist. Ten, Tommy Razov. Thirteen, Igor Asovsky. Fourteen, Pecek Kurgovsky. 18, Ivan Razov, and number 21, Daniel Vasilevsky. And the bench for the Magic, number 11, Adrian Sherifovsky. 12, Stanko Zilic. 8, Alfonso Apazo. And number 20, Igor Kolevsky. And number 31, John Svektkovsky. And the coach, Vlado Tortevsky, the referee, refereeing this game, Demir Vasic. Just about to start here at Bob Jane Stadium. The last game of the Vodafone Cup and it's the final between South Melbourne versus the Altona Magic and all of a sudden a sunbathed ground here. It shows you Melbourne's four seasons in one day but uh, as long as we don't get any more rain, we've got a hefty wind going to the lake side of the ground and a long ball forward there and Ramazan slipping over. As I'm trying to fend away there. And Dean and Asasialis will get the first touch of the ball. And look at pushing it forward. It's always a close contest between these two teams, as we've seen throughout the season. And congratulations to both the Magic and South Melbourne because most pundits thought it would be Oakley squaring off in the grand final against either one of these opponents. It hasn't been. And one of these teams now has a crack at a title. South Melbourne, their first since the late 70s, since exiting 
the State League and joining the NSL. And what a famous club there have been, rich in pride, history and tradition, either at the NSL or in the Vodafone Cup. And as for the Altona Magic, successful throughout the 1990s with three consecutive titles and a chance to rewrite some history this afternoon and claim their first title in the new millennium. Amazon now with the throw. Some good work and uh, Neglieri now. Long ball forward and the ball's going over. Fernando, the first shot of the game. And that shows you a bit of uh, slip sliding on the pitch there, Simon. And obviously assisting South Melbourne there and the first chance of the game three minutes in. Long throw forward. Fernando. Ladenovic plays it back. Razov goes forward. Razovsky lurking up front. A chance now for Vasilevsky. Scored a ripping goal against South Melbourne in that uh, final from a free kick. Janitas, good clearance there by Sugovsky. Zertis. Nickel trying to play the ball wide, no one there for him. And McNichol now plays it forward. He's found Oliveira. And corner ball. First of the game going to South Melbourne. Chance now for South Melbourne to open the score here. Headed away. Nice header away from the front post by Medenovic. Lead away again. Markella does well. The win, no doubt, playing havoc here for both sides. They'll throw into Altona Magic. South Melbourne now with Oliveira. And quite uh, funny scenario for Oliveira, Neglieri, and Jubic. Uh, they were playing for Frankston Pines earlier on in the season and all of a sudden they're playing in a final something they probably wouldn't have foreseen after a few weeks at Frankston Pines It's a funny game football isn't it? Had those three players you mentioned Arthur been with the Pines they would have been facing State League Division 1 football and now there's a chance at a crack at a Vodafone Cup title and a medal around their neck in two hours time Great block there from Sugovsky that was goal bound Yevdovich blinded by the sun and he's having difficulty reading the ball too Yes I know Simon the Looks like the Suns uh, straight into the view of Boyo Yevdovic. Flick on Fernando. He does well. And in the end, uh, the Altona get the throw in the end. It must have just gone out. Here. Ball played central, a chance now, McNichol. Maybe a bit too much on the ball there. And the ball's gone wide now. Delev. Delev goes central, not really a conducive to this kind of play there. Oliveira plays it in the back post. The shot! And that hit the side of the net there, Naglieri. Almost breaking through for South Melbourne there, Simon. And it all started from a Vasilevsky mistake. He was hero last week and nearly turned big on there. Squaring that ball across, intercepted by Reminded South Melbourne. Lovely build-up. And unfortunately, that, that the wasn't stadium. the goal that South were looking for. Forward there. Strong win there. Nickel again. Really, South Melbourne have to do something with this wind assistance. All played into the box and Dallab does well again. Razov plays it forward, Bechanovsky does well, gets a free kick. Osman now. Goes deep. And Razov. And looked like a free kick to me, that nudge there. And the referee decided no. Zertis, plays it forward, Janitas now, it's two on one, 
And clearance there by Osman down the lines. DeVito won't see it out. He plays it back to Denzel Beza, who has had a very good season for South Melbourne in the midfield. No team really having the upper hand in the first uh, six or so minutes. Simon, uh, how do you see it? Quite even, however, the two best chances of the game have spilled to South Melbourne. First of all, Fernando with his shot, rocketing over the bar, and then that beautiful piece before that South Melbourne built up, they just weren't able to finish. Throw into South Melbourne now. McNichol has had a bit of the ball early on. Good tackle there by Fernando. Certainly wasn't a free kick. And referee saw it the same way. 1-2 play there. Chance for South Melbourne. And some great defending yet again. A shot from afar. Chester down. No handball. Zertes tries the shot. And saved there from Yevdovic. Caught him by surprise. The pace of the ball. And Yevdovic making sure, palming it out for a corner. Corner to South Melbourne yet again. And Oliveira, can they make this wind uh, a system? Curling ball, a very strong curling ball. As you can see, the power of the wind there. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Yevdovic. Goes long, a great kick against the wind. And the South Melbourne fans are shouting out loud there. And as you were saying, Simon, this is the first chance that South Melbourne has had to win the Victorian Championship after their demise of the NSL days. And uh, they'd uh, previously won seven titles in the old Victorian Soccer Federation. Now this is a chance to make it eight. Fernando plays it forward. And on the other side of the coin, Altona Magic. Three championships and all in succession too. Great period for the Altona Magic. And now they've got a chance of making it number four. All played early. Bit of a mismatch here. And Bechanovsky. Ball played uh, a wave. There's an injury there. Looks like to Arasovsky. Little kick on the calf. Delev now, tries to go long again, but Amazon does well, it's a magic uh, throw. Mladenovic, and no free kick there to Mladenovic, to the disgust of the Altona Magic faithful. And all played now. into the box, a chance now, cleared away again. This time by Vasilevsky. DeVito, trying to make a run on the left-hand side and Artusovsky's made a run to try and forward his attack. And it's a goal kick. And Mladenovic may have had a case there for a free kick before, however, to the referee's credit, there's been plenty of niggling and holding on with uh, both teams and he's been letting it go, so it's at least consistent with the referee. Yevdovic again, a long clearance. Chance to go forward again for the Magic. And ball played central now. Vasilevsky on the ball. Trying to look for an opening here. Razov. Can he get it into the box with his left foot? Great work there to try and curl it away. Beza does well. Only as far as Vetnovsky. And again, Ramazan 
really he's had a great ending to the season Simon and most, so much so he won three best on grounds the last three games and he's giving Tommy Razov very few and very little space and unfortunately there for South Melbourne it's the Knicks has caught offside but that duel between Tezvan Koyu and Razov is a key one and he's giving him very little space there along the left flank Yevdovic now goes long Header forward, a chance now for Oliveira. He's got McNichol running on and decides to go by himself. And some great work again by Dalev, really. He's had a great effort there. And the referee not giving a tackle from behind. And all of a sudden, Danitas. And great challenge there by Markella. The referee allowing play on. Every chance he gets, any 50-50 challenges, he's allowing them, Simon. And really has been consistent. The referee has been consistent. Another 50-50 challenge and rightly so, waving play on. That's been the trend in terms of decisions for the first 20 minutes in this game. Corner now for South Melbourne. And a chance. Good punch there by Yevdovich. Free kick. And that's the right decision there. It was. Djulbic definitely obstructed Yevdovich there when he was trying to claim contest for that ball. Chance to go forward now. Throw in. Beza. Very tense start by both sides. Still nil all here in this 19. Take again. Still nil all here in the 2006 Vodafone Cup. All forward there for McNichol. He does well. And a bit of obstruction there, but the referee again allows play on. And the Magic go forward. Bechanovsky, good work on the right hand side. Arzovsky, got enough pace behind that ball. Oliveira's made a run. Solid challenge that by Mladenovic. Oliveira winning the ball. Again, play on allowed. And a, another good decision. Easily for the referee to go and blow for every uh, incident there, uh, Simon. But he's, I think he's had a good grip on the game. He's been consistent today, and note too, when South Melbourne attack, they use the flanks, trying to bypass the Altona Magic midfield. Mladenovic, Vasilevsky have had very little of the ball today, and South definitely prefer using the services of Fernando on the left side, and Oliveira and Co along the right to work the ball forward. Certis, Ramazan, They're trying to find an opening here, South Melbourne. And the Magic just sitting back and trying to absorb all the pressure. Try and get South Melbourne on the counter-attack. Tanitas does well. Early ball play to Oliveira. Maybe a little bit too much on the ball there. Naglieri. Very similar start to the final that they played three weeks earlier, Simon. Very similar start to the game where South Melbourne has been dominating early on and uh, Altona Magic absorbing a lot of pressure. Absolutely, Arthur. And they did the same thing last week, the Magic against Heidelberg. Heidelberg dominated the first 10 or so minutes of the game and against the run of play, the Magic scored. And that's all they need to do, absorb this pressure, find their feet, and who knows what can happen for the Magic. Fernando! And... Good save by Yevdovic, got it on the second attempt and Fernando almost getting through the defences of Yevdovic there. And another shot on goal and a great ball across there trying to find Razov but Dean Anastasiadis who's really had nothing to do in the first 20 minutes of the game. He could have gone in and had a latte. <laughs> With two sugars indeed and there's no doubt that the Altona Magic defending has been quite lax. They're allowing South Melbourne to shoot from long range and that's another time they've allowed to do so. 
and unfortunately there, Tez Van Koyu did all the hard work and that cross straight into Albert Park Lake. Gebdovic now. Tabzanoglu did well to try and keep the ball in play there, but uh, a little unlucky slipping over and really not much he could have done there. Good throw forward. Sertis. The all blue versus the red and black here. And so far, even Stevens. Can they get through that goalkeeper of the year, Dean Enesis Yardis, two seasons in a row? And congratulations to Dean, but it must not be mentioned as well. Boyle Yevdovich, the veterans in this competition are having superb seasons. He has been in fine form for Altona Magic throughout the season. We're seeing two quality keepers on show this afternoon. Fernando! And a chance there. Gone begging in the end. Janowski hasn't really had much of the ball, but now has a chance of going wide, and he does so. Razov, good defending by Jubic. Tertis. Plays it forward. Fernando's made a run, and some great defending there by Razov this time to get the ball away. Razovski, not a great ball, but uh, luckily for him, Osman's there to play it wide. Sugovsky goes down the line. Jubic. In the Altona Magic Strikers firing blanks at the moment. Arsovsky, Betranovsky have had very little have had very little of the ball. And I think today not a not a genuine chance on goal yet, and we've played 25 minutes in this first half. Free kick there by Zertis. Just a tad late there. Clearly a free kick there. Levent Osman on the ball now. Chance here for the Magic to try and create something. First real chance of the game. Deep ball into the box. Header forward, Zertis pushes away. Danitas does well. And a chance now for Fernando. Fernando's got the ball wide. He's got Arzovsky to beat. Twisting and turning. Flamboyant uh, Brazilian. Naglieri, great defending again by the Magic. Zertis, McNichol. Can he get a shot on goal? Chester down and a corner there for South Melbourne. Good work by Sergovsky. Quick corner taken. Beza. And he's got a chance now to take a shot on goal. Fernando. Chips it in. The back post. A chance. Oh, what a save there. Another shot on goal. Tremendous save by Yevdovic. Absolutely world class stuff. And a chance now for the Magic. And all the way to Anastasiadis. Oh my lord, what a save. Fantastic save. Great play from Di Moraes, first of all, to free up that man on the back post and create that chance on goal. And Yevdovic, we're talking about the quality of the two keepers that are on display this afternoon. World class save. Nadezovsky now. He's done well to keep the ball. And he's lost it this time round. What a great save there by Yevdovic. Sheer class. And free kick given there to South Melbourne. McNichol really is having a big impact on the game early on, like you said, Simon. He's had a lot of the ball. And there he goes again. Chance to get it into the box. And a corner being given. Going to take in here. Oliveira. Curling ball again. Chance, good punch, Yevdovic. Balls out to McNichol. 
Gone to Fernando. Oh, I tell you what, it's almost hit the two horses in the back of the ground there. With the police uh, ducking for cover, they really needed their helmets then. They did, and this is a danger period for the Altona Magic now, Arthur. They were starting to fit, look comfortable the last five minutes, but all of a sudden, three chances on goal from South Melbourne in the last two minutes, and the Magic really need to absorb this pressure and find their feet again, because it's one-way traffic at the moment, and it's all pointing in South Melbourne's direction. Ubich does well. McNichol, again. Some great work by McNichol. And free kick not given there. The linesman using some hand signals that will warrant him work as a policeman. Danitas did well to get to the ball. The gloved one. Does well, Naglieri. Trying to open up uh, the Altona Magic here. And Zertis held the ball wide. And now get the ball into the box, low and hard. Zertis goes deep. And not a good catch there by Yevdovic, but luckily for him, no one coming along there to slot the ball away in the second attempt. Zanoglu did well. Delev did equally as well to get the ball now. Again, Zanoglu. Oliveira. Good work. Naglieri's gone wide. Fernando. South Melbourne look hungry for the ball at the moment. Very tense football here. 30 minutes gone, nil all here. 2006 Vodafone Cup. Ball into the box. Chance, McNichol now. Curling ball. And that was a worthwhile effort, I tell you what. It was, and who is marking McNichol at the moment? This man is having plenty of the football, and he just seems to have a license to do anything out there at the moment. The ball wide to Delev. And not some conventional defending there. Really putting their teammates under a lot of pressure there. Davzanoglu again thumping the ball forward. Dangerous stuff here for Osman. And we saw uh, the first game of the season, Osman not dealing with uh, aerial ball, where Coveney slotted it away and made it 1-0 uh, in that first game. Nevertheless, it was cleanly dealt with there by the Magic. Good communication between Osman and Yevdovic. We've seen so many similar instances where there's been an absolute muck up between the last defender and the goalkeeper, but it was dealt with ease there by Yevdovic. Sorry, Ross. Just make sure the police Thank you very much. Danitas, free kick to South Melbourne. Play the ball wide now. Zertis gets the free kick. No, he gets a throw in. Long throw forward. Good cross by Fernando. Claims for a handball there, but unfound. And a corner again to South Melbourne. Definitely no penalty, just a clumsy clearance there from Delev. And luckily he got away with it, and it's a corner for South. Chance now to go forward again for South Melbourne. And the corner has not worked for him as of yet, but they seem to be getting closer and closer to goal with every thrust forward. Bazar curling ball, a little bit too much on that one. And 
The rain slowly coming down again here. Chance for South Melbourne to go forward again. Free kick given. Uh, free kick was given quite early there. Ball played early. McNichol goes central. Waiting for the ball there. And the ball cleared away now by Yevdovic. Zertis. Naglieri goes forward. Fernando. Rain teaming down here at Bob Jane. Ball forward. Naglieri, can he get a shot on goal? Zertis! And no power really behind that shot. In the end, easily mopped up by Yevdovic. We've got just over 10 minutes left in this first half and there are definitely danger signs here for the Magic. We know the scores are locked at nil all, but something really has to happen. They look stagnant out there at the moment, the Magic. Free kick to Naglieri there. McNichol. Sergovsky goes wide to Razov. A bit too far forward for him. Ball forward. Zertis does well. Try and get the ball forward now. Stretch uh, the Altona. And DeVito did well to get there in the end. Baza. Free kick again there on Oliveira. And it will be brought back and that was a good decision. The ball was at least a foot uh, or so behind. Chance now, Naglieri. Little toe. Uh, no chance to get to the ball there. McNichol. The referee allows play on. Vasilevsky. Can he find Bechnovsky? He finds Razov. Razov now. Altona with Vasilevsky now trying to get to the ball. Claiming that he was tripped, but... Uh, Referee didn't think the same. Osman. All out for a throw. Chance for Razov now. Razov. Good ball across there. Stretching Ubic. And I'll tell you what. A solid challenge by the gold medalist. And... Uh, no doubt we'll get a card for that. A yellow card instantly coming out. Just a little late there was Satch Pechanovsky. He may have had a claim he was going for the ball, but it was certainly rash and it certainly warranted a yellow card. At least uh, Satch uh, there, sportsman like that he is, went and uh, wished uh, Dino a full recovery of his injuries. And Anasasya, this is a long clearance forward. And uh, Simon, you are telling me about the donut vans outside. Uh, what's the quality of the donuts today? I'm not sure. I'm trying to keep myself fit as I play regular football and futsal. But regardless, Arthur, it's good to see that uh, Dulovic, the opponent that was tackled by Petronosti before, is back up in one piece. Magic on the back foot at the moment, but if there's one thing that they do have in their favour, they're kicking against a stiff breeze and they will have full advantage of it in the next half. Mladenovic, not a great header there. And not a great ball by Zertis. Ramazan, long throw forward. McNichol. 
And a goal kick there. Ball forward. DeVito. Can he get the ball forward? Razov did very well. And a bit of a bear hug there. Chance for South Melbourne and uh, the header is kept in play. The linesman deemed it to be no corner. And Yevdovich did well again. He's definitely been the staff of the Altona Magic this first half. Fernando. A solid challenge that. And a free kick going to South Melbourne. Free kick taken into the box and cleared away for another corner to South Melbourne. And really, they have to have to do something with these corners, uh, Simon, because they they've been wasting them to say to say the least. They've created chance upon chance. South Melbourne had nothing to show for it of yet, but more importantly, they have use of this strong breeze for another couple of minutes, and they need to take full advantage of it. Baza, curling ball, and again wasted. A little bit too much on the ball and another goal kick to Yevdovic. Long ball forward now. Fernando does well. And ball given. Chance now for South Melbourne. I have to say that three minutes of added time. I tried from this distance, uh, Simon, with the way the wind's been uh, travelling. He's got nothing to lose, and Fernando, as he's shown, can do anything. And we've just seen the strength of this wind, the ball carrying under two, three metres. Fernando is capable of pulling off anything on a football pitch. And if he did score from such a long range, from where this set piece is set, it wouldn't surprise me. Fernando now. Once again, the horses have been hit. The shot there going way over and uh, thumping against one of the police horses. And you'd have to say they need a bit of protection there. And once again, another wasted opportunity for South Melbourne. They've probably had 15 chances on goal this half. As well. Naglieri, can this be the last chance of the first half? Great work there by Fernando. Neg Negliere doing well. Fernando throwing to South Melbourne. Tanitas. Fernando into the box. Oliveira. And another corner to South Melbourne. Surely this is the last chance of the first half. What can South Melbourne do now? Corner here for South Melbourne. And a very strong win, and Yevdovic did well. He foresaw that corner. It was pretty much telegraphed to him. Yevdovic. DeVito. Oliveira. Way to Dean and Asasiadis, thumping it up forward. And it's half time here at Bob James Stadium. And the score remains nil all at half time. And uh, South Melbourne really dominating play here, Simon. And really should have been at least a goal or two up. At least a goal or two up, and as you said, they've had all the possession but have nothing to show for it on the scoreboard to date. And now Altona Magic, they can definitely count themselves lucky as a result, and they're definitely still in this game and will be, as we mentioned before, 
using a strong breeze and that will definitely guide them with plenty of assistance in the second half. Just about to commence the second half here at Bob Jay and the score is nil all in this ninth beautiful nice little uh, effort here. 2006 Vodafone Cup and South Melbourne kicking to the goal right of screen. Razov plays it uh, wide. Bechanovsky. Twisting and turning. Gets a ball into the box. A good ball. Headed away. And a corner for the Magic. I think it's the first corner for the game for them. It is the first, probably. And Arthur Tasman Corridor could have had a case there on being fouled off the ball. He's looking at the referee, asking why wasn't it his free kick. Nevertheless, consistent with the referee's uh, game, any 50-50 incidents have just been waived as play on. Corner now. Curling ball. A header. It's going right across goal. It's a corner again. It's a matter of now if South Melbourne can uh, deal with these curling balls. And that's going way over the back post there. And a goal kick. Taken there, DeVito. Plays up. DeVito goes wide, not really a great ball by him. Baza had a chance to really push it up forward and uh, a preferable left foot uh, that he uses, but uh, went wide and uh, South Melbourne have lost the ball. Oliveira. Chance to go forward now for South Melbourne. Fernando, and a great challenge that by Markella. The, the ball forward now, Vasilevsky does well. Pulls for handball, but clearly not. Zanidis, Fernando. Great work by Osman. Scuffle there. The referee Vardasic uh, having a word there. Osman trying to marshal his troops now. Does an old as well again. Ball forward, Nadanovic. now for the Magic. Good defending again by Naglieri this time. Oliveira. Free kick was given. A silly free kick there. Taken by South Melbourne. Put his goalkeeper under pressure there. Quite uh, disastrous there. Magic slowly coming into the game, Simon. They started on a much brighter note this half. Now, whether it's got anything to do with the conditions or I'm sure the blasting that Vlado Kroteski would have given his squad at half time, they've definitely started on a much positive note. Going forward there. Oliveira goes wide. Donitas. There's no one there for South Melbourne. He still carried the ball a mile. Curling ball. And Razov did well to get the ball away. But Nando. He's done well. He's kept position. And a goal kick and the right decision there too. Correct decision there again. Good diving there by Fernando. Azovsky. Got a bit of room. Challenge there by Davido. Mladenovic goes wide. Vichinovsky. What can he do now? Into the box. And Asasiadis taken well, but put his player under a lot of pressure there. 
and all of a sudden, Sergovsky. And a goal kick, and really two silly mistakes there. Putting his goalkeeper in a bit of bother. This is Charlotte's good goal kick again against the win. Both goalkeepers have had some good uh, long kicks. Tanitas holding the ball up well. McNichol. And some good work there by Dalev. Very good kick in there. Flipping the heels of Dalev. Uh, really hard here. The run made there by Echinovsky making a run. It's gone wide, a bit too wide there. And South Melbourne go forward now. Meglieri, he's gone wide, and a good ball. Certes, gone a little too far wide though. Can he get it into the box? He's got DeVito. Vito, not a good ball by him. He lets himself down. Maybe should have tried the first time ball, Simon. Absolutely had options here in the box. Unfortunately, it wasn't taken the first time there for South Melbourne. Fernando. Amazon. Made a good run now on the right and great running off the ball there by Amazon. And gets a corner. Considering uh, the weather, Simon, it's ended up being a pretty good crowd. I'd say close to 5,000 people here today. It's a great crowd, great to see grassroots football being supported. And even better, South Melbourne with another corner trying to break this down. Hazard! Oh, missed kicking the ball! Charge down! Curling again! Surely! Oh, to the bar from three yards! And Oliveira! What a miss there! The only question that needs to be asked, how did he miss that? I'll tell you what, sensational stuff there, great ball in. Oliveira really, maybe had to reach for it a bit too much, that's what let him down. Possibly so, it was in the air when he tried to keep the header down and South Melbourne created that chance against the run of play. It's been the magic for the first 10 minutes in this second half. Beza miss kicking the ball completely. Putting his side under uh, a chance gone begging there. No doubt again. Beza. Free kick there. South Melbourne player, Shurofovsky, coming onto the park. Team call into the box. Ubich was there. DeVito. Naglieri. And free kick given there for the lunch by Naglieri. Magic needs to make the most of these chances. Bech Vinovsky has nowhere to be seen this afternoon. Taz Van Kotlu has done a very good job closing the Magic's main striker down. Markella now. Goes wide. Cleared away. Bechinovsky did well. Hobsonoglu. Claims for handball. You'd have to be a brave man to give that one. That's an Oglu again. Two. Fernando. Play down the line there. South Melbourne throw. to Danitas. Fernando did well. Davido now. And gets, uh, no, still in play. 
Oliveira. Did well. And ball there. Silly play there by Vasilevsky. And he'll get a yellow card for that. Absolutely silly play. Completely silly. Altona have done well to contain South to date and they don't need to give away silly fouls like that so close to the edge of the box. Fernando. Curling ball. Oh, Baza misses it again. Getting around to it now. Into the box. Denitas just wide. And again, South Melbourne threatening. And we've been playing just on 15 minutes into this second half and still no goals. Razov, a free header there. Certes. Oliveira. Ball forward there. And ball claims. The referee allows play on. And uh, Alizovsky goes wide. Still Alizovsky. All the way to Dean and Asasiadis. Domination of play has been quite uh, evident here, really. You have to say, surely there has to be a goal soon. And Osman does well. Well, football is a game of chances. South Melbourne have had plenty of them. They haven't done anything with those chances. And who knows, the magic yet to trouble Dean Anastasiadis. I don't think he's had a shot in terms of a save to make all day, but you never know. Altona just could have that one and maximise it. Time will tell. And the header! Oh, what a tremendous goal! Yanni Janinas have absolutely broken the game open. What a great cross that was. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And Simon, you were saying, and I was saying, it had to come, and it has. We've been playing just on 16 or so minutes in this second half, 1-0. And Gianni Dinitas has really been flourishing in these finals. The superb header into the back of the net. And finally, South Melbourne rewarded with their dominance. And boy, hasn't that lifted the crowd. Caught us by surprise here. And Dinitas has made it one goal to nil. Jubilant scenes here, but certainly the game is not over at all. And now Altona Magic have got a chance. The ball into the box and Ramazan gets it away for a corner. And a good reply there by the Magic. And now Altona Magic have to open up here. Some silly play by Anastasiadis. Or should I say his defenders were putting him under so much pressure. And this is what causes... Teams to get back in game, some silly mistakes. Osman goes to Vecinovsky. Mladanovic, the shot. And Anastasiadis down. And a chance from nothing there, Simon. Anastasiadis and his back door should have cleared that ball sooner. South put themselves into trouble for no reason at all. But Anastasiadis made up for it with a great save. Powerful strike. Try forward to Fernando, the man who... Delivered that cross, brilliant cross, and really Donitas made it, met it with absolute power and force. No hope for Yevdovich. Up front. Chance to go forward, and Ramazan did well, and all of a sudden. South Melbourne go forward again, unfortunately they're a little too far forward by Ramazan. And that play from Ramazan sums up South Melbourne's game for the day. They just look hungrier and want the ball more than the Magic.
forward now. South Melbourne go forward again. Oliveira offside, and that's a correct decision. A little too far forward for him. Plenty of time left if Altona are a good enough, Simon. They certainly are, but the problem for the Magic, they haven't even created a shot on goal yet to date, so they've got all the work to do in the final 20 minutes of this game. Goal kick really, not what you call clinical. Free kick there by Fernando, claiming he elbowed his uh, fellow player there. You know it's a cold day when Fernando's got both gloves on. You think he might be playing to be in the next Michael Jackson video clip? Who knows, that's something we'll have to ask the great man himself after the game. Marikella. What can he do there? Gets it deep into the box. The header. It's gone for a corner. Jubic has uh, cleared it away, but the opposite way to where he was intending. Sheriffovsky now. Dina Sosiadis trying to marshal his troops. Curling ball. And Sosiadis went all the way. Two players alone in the box there. And a chance there for the Magic. And all of a sudden, South Melbourne go forward in numbers. Certes, what can they do here? He's taken it too far forward, or has he? And ball call there. And a corner given. And a chance for South Melbourne to really break them open there. A second goal would have killed the Magic, I think. Absolutely, absolutely had Certes crossed that ball earlier. Denitsis and Nagleri were there unmarked on the back post. That definitely would have been a second for South Melbourne. Corner ball here. Really should play the quick uh, early ball there. McNichols all alone there. Fernando decides to go on his own. Curling ball and headed away. Tertis again. A good header forward. Offside flag might go up. And... Tell you what, Oliveira had a chance there to really take a shot on goal, but really delayed it. I definitely thought Oliveira was offside. I'm amazed the flag didn't go up, but the chance was there, and Oliveira should have dealt with it sooner. Bechanovsky now. Can he take a shot on goal? Maybe not too much there to deal with. And this is, yeah, that's not what you call clinical clearance. And that's not for the first time this second half. And all of a sudden, the Magic go forward. Markella, a shot well wide. Just to let loose with that ball. And there it goes. Long clearance, but held up by the win. And all of a sudden, an attack going forward. Ramazan gets it away. And a chance now for the Magic. Sherifovsky, deep ball into the box. And Razov's header. Had to reach for it. Vasilevsky, great ball across. Mladenovic, it's a ball wide. Sergovsky, great ball. And still play on. And unfortunately there for Sherifovsky, the cross lets him down. Great cross there from Sergovsky, and he found Sherifovsky unmarked. McNichol had a great first half. Curling ball forward, Osman. Bechanovsky tried to get past Neglieri there. Fernando. Still Fernando. Does well. And good defending there by Osman. He's had a great game, has Osman. He's tried his heart out. 17 minutes left of normal time here. One goal to nil. Is it enough? Fernando a bit too much there on the ball. It's definitely not enough this one goal to nil lead Arthur. South would definitely like a second to really seal proceedings. All it takes is one chance and the Magic can capitalise. Opazo plays it wide to Razov. Razov, great defending. 
And a chance now to go forward. And the referee, Razov, not very well at all on the ground. He's in a bit of pain, and the South Melbourne fans are complaining, but really, you can't deny that uh, Razov's in immense pain there on the sideline. As we just heard, Simon, the attendance was bang on what we suggested. 5,135 people and uh, a good crowd in the end. If the weather had been a little bit uh, more faithful to us, we would have had, I said, close to seven or 8,000 here. It's still a strong crowd despite the weather conditions today. Congratulations to all who have turned up this afternoon to watch this grand final in what has been difficult conditions. And importantly, too, congratulations to the Football Federation Victoria, Photophone and associated sponsors in putting together a fantastic final series. And this is Yard, this is a long clearance now. They hit a forward. DeVito, Abazo does well. Trying to play it wide. Zilic uh, coming onto the park for the Magic. Stunko Zilic. DeVito pushes it forward. Chessing the ball down. Zilic again. Magic have to throw everything here. Into the wind. DeVito. Fernando. Beza goes forward. Thumps it up forward. And all of a sudden, Oliveira almost got through there. Certes did well. Matsoulas uh, trying a back heel there. 12 minutes left on the clock, Simon, of normal time. I'd say about three minutes of uh, extra time. What do you think about that? You'd say South Melbourne are definitely in the box seat. They have dominated this game from start to finish. Matsoulas now. Chance up front. Plays it into Osman. Clearing away. And some good work again by Matsoulas. Fernando. Still Fernando. Oh, quality stuff by Fernando. Denidas. Certis. Certis. Gone wide. Fernando Di Moraes started that for South Melbourne. And unfortunately there, Certis couldn't finish. Di Moraes, what a player he is. I was told earlier on today that his father used to play with Pelé, which is quite some effort. Something might have rubbed off. There's no doubt he's a man of immense skill and talent. Is Fernando de Moraes, the gloved one. And the drums are definitely beating for Fernando today. He played all the way back to his goalkeeper. Ubich has had an absolute ripping game for South Melbourne in the defensive lines. Side, no. It's a throw in. Throw forward to Natsoulas. Benitez. Tried to push the ball forward and now Beza. A chance now. And Asasiadis thumps it wide. Dangerous there for South Melbourne. Bechanovsky almost getting through. Anastasiadis had to be really careful with that kick. There's a good chance he could have kicked it and it deflected off Bechanovsky into the back of his own net. Chance now, Opazo. Which route will he take? Vasilevsky. Good ball into the box. And just over the bar there. 
chance by Dalev and some marking there which had a lot to be desired for South Melbourne. And they've marked really tight all afternoon South Melbourne on, on the magic and a lapse in defensive concentration there and Dalev unfortunately couldn't make South Melbourne pay. And Ivan Razov really struggling and he's just been bought off and uh, hopefully he'll be okay. He's in a bit of pain at the moment. The two less. He's going forward now. Can he get past his man? Can he get a shot on goal? Natsoulas. Deep ball into the box. Off the line there. And it almost went in. Almost drifted into the top corner there, Simon. I thought he did too much going solo by himself, Matsoulis, but it nearly paid off. And eventually it had to be cleared off the line there by Zilic for the magic. Great solo effort, Natsoulis. Oliveira. Corner ball, a deep one. Keepers come out. Fernando. It's gone wide. Matsoulas, good cross. Headed away. Chance now for the Magic. Sherifovsky. And some good work there by Naglieri holding his player up. Ball played down to the back post now. Tertis did well, did maybe a bit too well, and a foul there, and that was a good decision. It was a good decision, but we see once again South Melbourne players by the numbers coming in and wanting the ball, whereas the Magic players just sit there and wait for it. That has summed up the afternoon in terms of play. Maybe just a little bit too much there, Tertis. Free kick taken. Almost getting through there, cleared away again by Jubic. Lopazo. Great defending again. Ramazan has a chance now for South Melbourne to go forward. There's a big chance here to try the ball across and a little bit too much there. But Ramazan ran the whole width of the ground to try and get that return ball. The ball's gone all the way back to Dean and Asasiadis. Two players on the ground injured now. And Sach Petronovsky uh, going under the race. Doesn't look very well at all. And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, Simon, the Altona Magic have only got 10 players on the park. And it's two key players too, Tommy Rezov and Betrinovsky off on a stretcher. And we just hope both players, the health the condition is okay. But it definitely hasn't been the Magic's day. No weaving of Magic whatsoever. It's been blue and white today. But you never know, as we say, football's a funny game. One chance could mean one goal for the Magic and they've still got under 10 minutes left this half. The ball forward. Can South Melbourne use this one man advantage and make sure of the game? Or can the Magic somehow do something magical to try and get back in this game? As their name, Markella scored a goal from this distance in a previous game. Markella. Great effort! Oh, and I'll tell you what, a rasping effort there over the bar. A cracking effort from McKellar, and that is a brilliant crack from the right back for Altona Magic. Unfortunately for him, it just went wayward at the last minute from the back post. Ball forward. Two minutes left of normal time, Simon. No doubt we'll have at least five to six minutes of extra time. And a chance here for the Magic. A deep ball. And that's the Chardis. What a save. Out of nothing, Simon. Brilliant save in the end. He hasn't been tested much this afternoon. That definitely tested Dino Anastasiadis. And what about the free kick? Was it 
Vasilevsky that took it. It was a brilliant free kick from Vasilevsky. It definitely was. Corner ball. Flick on a cross goal. And all it needed was a touch. And South Melbourne survived. Two chances in the space of 10 seconds. First Vasilevsky, secondly Sharifovsky. That ball running across the face of goal. And after South Melbourne dictating proceedings for the, what, 80 plus minutes in this game, it's Altona Magic nearly creating two chances in the space of seconds. Long ball forward there. And Anas Ashadis will see that ball into his safe hands. Still time left. Long, long, deep ball. Dubic did well. Free kick there. And really, no need to rush for South Melbourne. They're the team ahead. And the Magic really have got so much heart. They've got nine players, fit players on the park along with their goalkeeper. And they're really still showing their wares. Sociadis goes deep. The ball holding up there for Mladenovic. Djubic tries to get it away. The ball thumped up down the line. Now we've been playing 45 minutes exactly. We're playing time added for stoppages. Not sure how much we'll be having of that. And a chance now of Pazzo. Almost getting a ball there. There will be five minutes of added time. Repeat, five minutes of added time. Set it on. Oliveira, Natsoulas. Chance for South Melbourne now. Oliveira. Oliveira! Good save. Yebdevic. He goes deep. And that's twice Oliveira, Di Moraes unmarked on the back post, all he had to do was square it across goal and Di Moraes definitely would have drilled that ball home. Goes deep. Zanitas uh, almost got a little push there. Some great work there by Natsulas, great ball into the box! Fernando claims a push. And some great defending there by Zilic. And the Magic survive. Tinnitus. Tinnitus again. And a free kick there on a very rash challenge there. Yellow card by Tinnitus on Vasilevsky. There was a shocking challenge, and we've seen similar tackles throughout the season being red carded for that. He's a lucky man, Danitas. A couple of minutes left on the clock. And Yevdovic is going to go deep, no doubt. Ball in the box, and goes all the way to Anastasiadis. Free kick going down. Takes the ball down, and it's preferably for him. He'd prefer to kick it off the ground, does... Dean and Asasiadis. Long ball forward. I'll tell you what, still time left on the clock. And a good ball forward. Gets a throw for South Melbourne. Tell you what, Simon, if South Melbourne can get a goal now, it'll absolutely bring the house down. It will, and it'll definitely seal the championship for South Melbourne. And credit to them, I think, throughout the games that we've seen throughout the season after, South Melbourne definitely played the most flaring, attacking brand of football. And who knows, in a couple of minutes, that type of football could reward them with the 2006 Vodafone Cup. Chance now. Fernando. 
Twisting and turning. Does well to get the ball away. And we're only 40 seconds away from full time here. Can't be that much. And a goal kick given by the referee. It's all over. South Melbourne have won the 2006 Vodafone Cup. Absolutely tremendous scenes here. Simon, well deserved in the end. Well deserved. South Melbourne pretty much dominated this game from start to finish. Congratulations to John Anastasiadis and the South Melbourne Football Club on securing and clinching the 2006 Vodafone Cup.